Okay, um, I'm not aware of what time it is. It's been a, about half an hour since I last put in a time and date. So we know the date, okay? We know the time is around 10 or 9 in the morning. Um, they hit me again while I was sitting on my chair. I just filled my room up with chemical weapons gas, chemical poisoning. I'm forbidden at this point from talking about anything I witnessed the construction men that are surrounding F Street and are on F Street, they position themselves northeast, southwest, just around 360. I'm forbidden from talking about them. And I can't talk anymore after I have just said I was hit and poisoned again. I'm forbidden from talking about the chemical weapons. What I need to say, and I'm going to put it in the title, is tomorrow I'm calling attorneys. I'm starting with the pro bono lawyers in the courthouse, in the civil courthouse. Now we all know this is this is um, this is warfare here. This is I know it's terrorism and treason, but they are engaged in warfare here. Um, the mere and sheer fact that they summoned me to the courthouse was more acts of war. It was more attacks. Um, I don't, I don't even want to call individuals in that courthouse who want to have a conversation that I'm going to record and I'm going to put it on YouTube. Every lawyer that I speak to in DC will be on the internet. It's what I got to do. Be I don't think I need to tell any reasonable person why I do that. They're all going to pretend that this isn't happening here but yet at the same time, hold a bar to practice law. So the two don't work. And this is why I'm just collecting evidence is what I'm doing. If you can see that what the action is and the evidence I'm collecting on the bar holding attorneys throughout the district of Columbia, uh, I am allowed to put onto the internet. So it'll be on YouTube, all your social media. You can go ahead and listen to those conversations. But the first uh, attorneys that I do call because I'm being summoned through an act of war into the civil superior courthouse of the District of Columbia is the pro bono. It's the ones that are straight in the courthouse. Okay, I'm calling them. I'm going right to the courthouse. Okay, this is my plan of action. And then I'm going to go around the city and there's like a hundred or more. This is a massive uh, project of civil litigators, tenant attorneys, so on and so forth. Um, I'm also filing my own personal case against the quote unquote named, it's named, but what we'll really see um, who actually owns this property because at this point, the city courts, the police department and city titles, city patent offices, places like that are involved in the cover up of who owns this house. But no one's surprised by this. No, when you have the fire department in your police department in the District of Columbia covering up this kind of homicide, this kind of terrorism, this kind of treason, outright obvious in your face, ISIS Muslim terror cell, there's no doubt that you're going to come across um, individuals within the patent and title offices that will cover up the ownership. Oh, no doubt. Uh, city council has all kinds of got their hands covered in dirt. City council, no doubt. Okay, so this this is what how cities function. This is where when you're investigating where you look at and you're going to find your characters who are guilty parties right there where I'm saying. So when we can finally get somebody, the good guys will have to do it. And you can say, you know, how they're doing it is this house is reeking with fucking dead bodies. When we can get the proof of who actually owns this property, right? And wants to claim this crap. I, 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 I put a million dollars down and it's not the legendary and world famous Thelma Hogue. No, no. But I'm going to have these fake, illegal, highly atrocious and illegal, treasonous, seditious conversations. This is sedition they're in. The people holding up licenses to practice law here are going to be faced with sedition. I'm not the only one collecting evidence on them. Don't worry, okay? So I'm going to call these uh, 
bar, bar holding attorneys tomorrow, starting right at that courthouse where they think they're dragging me. The courthouse lawyers are all pro bono. Most of them, this, I can't explain the ins and outs of a courthouse right now. So I'm calling them right away. I'm not calling these uh, departments in the courthouse that claim to assist drug addicts. I'm forbidden from talking about them. I'm forbidden from calling them. I don't need to call a place that assists drug addicts. Moving on. So I'm calling the court appointed pro bono, calling them right there. I'm going to keep calling, keep calling, keep calling, keep calling until I get one of them to talk to me, not brush me off. I'm going to record them. I'm going to tell them everything. I'm going to tell them about the bodies. Everything I'm allowed to talk about on YouTube. And I'm going to say a few things more that I've not been allowed to talk about on YouTube. I'm going to tell those attorneys and we're going to record it and I'm going to put it on YouTube. So those attorneys are going to know some events in here that none of the public has heard yet. But you'll hear it when I talk to the attorneys, which I am recording and putting on the Internet. OK, and once I'm done with the courthouse, these pro bono little bunch down there, I'm moving to the private litigators and all the tenant law, so on and so forth, tort. We're moving there. And these are private practice, or firms, so on and so forth. And I'm going to call them and I'm going to send everybody. The courthouse gets the evidence. They, they, they already obtain it because they're, they're the ones summoning me. But I'm going to go ahead and send them that. If they, it, It's just the principle that I sent the evidence, which they already hold, which is about ISIS terrorism. I'm sending every letter, everything to the courthouse. We start there since they're summoning me okay and since they're they're withholding actual documents and covering up who owns this house okay and since they're protecting the police u.s federal law enforcement and district of columbia police department since they're protecting them to continue to protect this house they're relying on the courts now the police departments to help them protect this terrorist cell so that nobody is ever searched, raided, property seized, nobody's questioned, nobody's arrested, nobody's investigated. The, the white collar crime that goes on here, the fake aliases, the social security fraud, none of it will ever be investigated if we can keep going on like this is what Washington DC says. As of right now, I cannot go in my hallway. It is a mass graveyard, graveyard stench of dead bodies if I open my door it'll all gush immediately right into the oxygen outside and all I'll see it when I open my door is a whole bunch of white supremacist Middle Eastern Muslim people walking by um, and a whole bunch of Hispanic construction workers which I'm forbidden from talking about that's all I'll see everybody will look up and sneer and smirk maybe some of them will literally stick their tongues out at me but they'll they'll fail to notice the stench just busting out into the oxygen you smell that shit dude it's like if you're standing next to a rotting fucking animal you fucking smell it but they're not they're not worried about that stench here they're worried about how I'm standing on the porch you got me? Okay, it was mucho problemas in this town. But they're all working together. Just, you know, these are the little town lawyers walking past here. This is the people I'm calling tomorrow, okay? Do you get it? All right. So they want to have their little sedition, their little insurrection. They want to have their little terrorism, treason, fucking terror cell. Go ahead then. I'm starting tomorrow. You'll be recorded. Enjoy your 15 minutes of fame. Don't forget that. You're famous. Superior, supreme, whatever you are down there. Civil courthouse. District of Columbia, you are famous.